It started in 62, at the end of January in 64, we had a tiny mention in the Guardian newspaper, this extraordinary woman, Steve Shirley, writing computer programs in between feeding her baby and washing the nappies. And that was really the sort of phraseology that was used. And that brought in a flood of women who had computer skills and liked the idea of working from home. Not particularly bossy, I had this sort of, I was vulnerable, but a high flyer, self-willed, undisciplined. I was a beauty, an odd, not, not so much an oddball, a one-off, one-off. Nobody else quite liked me. My sister and I were put on a kinder transport, one of 10 trains leaving Germany and Austria. It was a thousand children up to the ages of 16 and came to England with a very traumatic journey without nationality, because Hitler had taken nationality away. Now you're classed as Jewish, I think if you're up to 1 16th Jewish. And, and the feeling that my life was saved, and for a lot of my childhood I was kept being reminded that my life had been saved. Aren't you lucky not to have gone up in smoke and all that sort of thing? It has made me really convinced I have to make my life worth saving, and each day you spend as if it would be your last. Uh, allowed me to cope with change and then eventually welcome change, and now I really like innovation, and that has, I think, come out in the fact that I've always worked in some aspect of research and done new things. I did find the computer industry so, so fascinating. It has some of the beauty of mathematics, it has a lot of logic in it, a sort of puzzle element to it, made for a very fulfilling life, really. You realise that you had actually created something. You know, if you like programming, it's marvellous. If you don't like it, it's just one of those sort of mysteries in life. I registered the name Freelance Programmers and aimed to build up some sort of little company. I certainly had no idea it was going to be as big as it was, as important as it was. We pioneered homeworking, job sharing, sort of flexible working, and that was just on the non-technical side. We were just at the beginning of the software industry. Nobody else was really out there. We were competing against computer companies who didn't know much about software. And neither did I really, because how long had I been working in software? A few years. I felt I wasn't really getting any responses from the letters that I was sending out offering services. My husband actually suggested that perhaps it was good old-fashioned sexism. They saw a letter from Stephanie Shirley and just went in the bin. So I started writing as Steve Shirley and the work did start slowly to flow in. And I've been Steve ever since. I've really move towards trying to have some understanding of where the technology can impact life as distinct from what the technology is, the sort of social aspects of computing, computing in the field of disability, computers in the art, computer conservation, and that theme has carried through. During the difficult times in the business, rocking in my chair with the worry about how to get out of the current mess or whatever it was, I was strengthened by the idea that I was a survivor, there was a solution, and it was up to me to find it. I think my only big project really is that I have survived as a whole individual and feel I have made my life worth saving, and I'm very content with that. This special episode of Blank on Blank is supported by Squarespace. Whether your story is out of the ordinary or simply out of this world, you should tell it in an unforgettable way. With user-friendly tools and templates, Squarespace helps you capture your story with a captivating website. Start your trial today. Visit squarespace.com forward slash blank on blank. We started to employ the men after 1975 if they were good enough. 
And that gets a roar of laughter if I'm talking to a woman's group. The business of women being the first this and the first that means that really you are motivated to do something as well as you possibly can. Because if you fail, you fail for all women. And they say, oh, we tried one of those and she was awful. Ugh. Sexism is, is um, not quite as bad as anti-Semitism, but it's pretty tough. This episode was also supported by the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, enhancing public understanding of science, technology, and economic performance. More information on Sloan at sloan.org.